am working on new fork full of noodles. It's been stressful, you guys. Uh, I have been under under quite a bit of stress, backlogged on a bunch of different stuff, uh, and just keeping up with what I need to keep up with and also catch up on a bunch of stuff that I need to catch up on. I'm almost there. Um, and I am going to release some new fork full of noodles that uh, I'm, I'm like really excited about the next uh, three topics that I wanna talk about in that. Um, so I hope you guys haven't been uh, upset about it. I am also figuring out how to do this regularly. Uh, and I've also realized that this new way of touring that I did this year, which is one long tour and then a couple weeks of weekenders, isn't particularly conducive to um, what I thought it was gonna be conducive to, right? Like, essentially the way that I was doing it was to, um, how do I wanna put it? to spend time with uh, family a little bit more and uh, help solidify more regular content. I hope that makes sense. Um, so I've been having a really tough time with it. Um, and uh, you know, like I wanna talk about this Kashmir thing. I wanna talk about what's going on with cancel culture and comedy. Um, I wanna talk about uh, UBI, AI, and automation. And those are the three big things that I want to address. But there's a lot of research to be done in all of those things. For me to create an articulate and thoughtful piece uh, that isn't me just coming out and, and spouting a bunch of angry shit uh, that doesn't have any basis in what, what I'm talking about, right? So, uh, and it's like I've mentioned in prior videos before, it is just me doing all this stuff, right? It is just me um, doing the work uh, that a lot of other shows that do it do have a staff. Some of them are smaller, some of them are larger, but they do have a couple different people um, putting the show together. And uh, and it's just me doing all of it. So um, I appreciate you guys' patient uh, patience. I appreciate you guys sticking through and watching the videos and supporting me on Patreon when you guys do support me on Patreon. Um, supporting me through by coming to live stand-up comedy shows. Uh, by sharing this stuff, uh, by liking this stuff, uh, by subscribing to the channel. Like, I very much appreciate all of that sort of stuff. Uh, but know that I'm working really hard. Um, and I put, out a, I put out a status about being stressed out, about being overworked. Uh, and, and look, I, I, I do genuinely feel like I have a responsibility to not just to myself, but to people that watch my content. Um, and uh, it's a responsibility that I take very seriously. It's a responsibility that I don't dick around with. It's a responsibility that I think is, is very important to put out regular content. And, and really what I wanna do with Forkful of Noodles is put it out every single week. Every single Monday, I wanna have Forkful of Noodles out. Every single Friday, I wanna have dispatches out. Every single Thursday, Taboo Table Talk goes out. Um, and then intermittently, whenever I'm on the road, I do these road reflections and fill in the gaps throughout the week. That's what I really want to do uh, with releasing videos. That's how I really want to approach that sort of stuff, right? And then also intermittently release stand-up comedy content. That's what I really want to do with that sort of stuff. At the current moment, I have not been able to do that, especially this year has been really, really difficult. Um, and I am trying to work on that. And part of that is because of the touring schedule. My touring schedule has not been hyper conducive because look, here's what happens. Whenever I'm on the road for longer periods of time, I fall into a groove of touring and I can create content and find like a Sunday or a, a Monday to make two or three videos um, or one video that's like a series of videos and release them on a periodic level. Find time to write, find time to make sure I have content creation, make sure I'm doing my booking and promo work and inviting the groups that need to be invited and sending out my emails and all of that sort of stuff. Um, but basically what happens is when I end up going on this long tour and finding this groove and coming home, I'm essentially like, I only have enough time to do certain things because then I'm, bam, I gotta be getting ready to get back on the road for another three or four days come home and then bam get back get ready to get back on the road for another three or four days and that cycle has been a little bit more daunting and demanding than I anticipated it to be to be honest with you guys um, so I think what's gonna happen next year for touring is um, I might be gone for I might be on the road for you know two consecutive months and then come back and be home 
for a month straight, uh, get my bearings for that one week that I am at home. And then, you know, I, I, I do want to do shows locally wherever I'm based. Um, and maybe a couple offshoot weekends here and there because touring is the way that I make a lot, a majority of my income um, because Patreon and the sustaining memberships aren't at that level yet. But um, it will allow me to create more regular content. It will allow me to achieve a balance between work, work life and personal life. Uh, and, and I have been uh, having a really difficult time with that. Um, and you know, earlier in the year, there were there were a bunch of other uh, stresses that uh, I discussed only with people that I'm very very close with, um, and I'm and I'm I don't want to discuss it overly publicly, but there were a lot of stresses going on uh, on a on a personal level, on a domestic level, uh, and it was affecting the work. And now it's the opposite side, right? Uh, my my touring schedule is is partly responsible for the hyper level of stress. There are personal things involved, you know. Uh, I did get sick for a little while. I did face some uh, allergy discrepancies. Um, and, uh, and, and the reality is, look you guys, I really appreciate you guys sticking with me. Uh, that is like a super fucking cool thing uh, that uh, I did not anticipate. And I'm a, I'm, I'm a person that likes um, hearing the the encouragement like that's a big thing for me is knowing that people are out there and are like hey bro hey dude like we can't we see where you're at and we hear where you're at and we're still gonna be here for you uh you know carry on keep the fight going we're we're gonna back you up no matter what if you need to take a break take a break dog like we're like that hearing that makes me feel fucking super great um, because it does allow me to think about, okay, you know, I've got X, Y, Z important life milestones coming up and, um, I want to be able to take those days off and I have not been able to really think about what uh, taking those days off because I feel, um, so behind and, and stressed out about certain things. So I'm almost caught up on what I need to do. Uh, but more importantly, know that I very, very much appreciate every single one of you that has been out there supporting me and um, and all the words of encouragement and all the words of, of championing the cause and, uh, and and the continual support of watching the show, sharing the shows, becoming patrons, find the, the, the new patrons, becoming those. I very much appreciate that. Anyway, uh, let's wrap this video up. Um, Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections, where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current socio-political environment, current news stories, uh, debates, that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast, Taboo Table Talk or Forkful of Noodles. It's a little bit looser. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, you can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian. And uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, and another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road.